Got this fog machine a couple of years ago from Walmart. Great little fog machine, 400 watts. It's the first one I ever bought that was a IR remote. Now the only problem was the remote never did work on it. So of course pushing the button works well, but you got to be close to it. As you can tell on the back, there is no place to plug in a remote control or a trigger button like you usually have on the other models, just like right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this one up. I'm going to hack it. We're going to add ourselves our own cord. Basically grab myself a computer cord. Of course all we're going to need is just this end of the cord to make it work. Basically just going to open up the fog machine. Of course I've already taken the bolts all out. Carefully take the lid off because you don't want to disconnect all your wires. You're going to go inside. Basically looking at the schematic on the other one, I'm going to take this wire here, which is on the top. We're going to cut and pigtail one in there. We're going to hook down to the ground, which it's hard to see, but oh, let's see if we can get over here. Down there. Of course the ground's just going to run over to the motor on the ground on the bottom. And then of course we're going to hack in our last wire right into here, which is going up into the LEDs. Basically, we're following the schematic that's on this one we opened up. Only difference is, of course, this one here does have a power switch on and off. Again, this one doesn't. It's just straight plug in and go. So it's a little bit different than the wiring setup. Basically the same. So we'll get that going. And as we go along, we'll show you what we've done. So we got the hole drilled. You want to just make sure you go nice and slow with your drill. Don't go fast because you don't want to rip into the case and then damage any wires on the inside if your drill pulls in. And of course, be careful. It takes a while. It's pretty loose and flimsy. Don't put your hand in behind there, of course, or you're going to drill into your finger, which is not a good thing to do. So here it is all done. Wired up. Basically, we've taken and redded in all the wires that we've added for our timer. On this one here, you will have to add a little pigtail because your wire gets too short once you cut it to get back to your LED light. But again, basically, again, we used the computer plug. We've cut it and stripped it, drilled it into the case. We've gone inside. We found the group of wires that was hooked to the thermocoupler. We've clipped it near the top, stripped them, marited them together using the center line coming off your plug then you're going to locate your next pump your next wire sorry that's going down to your pump you cut them you're going to be splicing in again from your cord it's going to be your right side when you got it sitting flat on the ground then for your last one this one right here which is going to the negative part of the pump basically all you're doing is you're pulling off the light LED light pin taking it adding a pigtail cutting it in adding of course your last wire which is off the left side that all goes back down so now we've got it all put together <laughs> now the fun part let's see if it actually works before we button it all up we've moved outside plugged her in so far everything's good Again, we're just using the standard timers that you see with all the fog machines. Got it plugged in. I'm just letting her warm up. I see a little smoke already starting to form. And hopefully, this will all work out right for us. We'll just have to wait till it gets warmed up. We'll come back in a sec and see what happens. Oh, there it is. Finally got it working. I had to reroute some of my wires. I'll go through it all. Make sure you guys have it all so you know which ones go where. To make it work. Again, just using the old time timer. I can still use the trigger on the fog machine. And of course, she looks perfect. Final look at the fog hag before I button her all back up. Basically, we've got it all marited here, showing you the center, the left, and the right of the plug. So basically, if you held the plug flat like this, 
we've got your center left and right and that's where they got wired to this one was the one we had to pigtail over to the light just to make the wire a little bit longer everything seems to be working well I'm gonna button her all up for now thanks for watching this little video we'll have some more stuff from Bruce's Haunted Manor soon